Welcome back everybody back into Minecraft. We are here with Bitvengers. Another episode where we are going to explore further into this map. Currently we have explored a lot. We did the island, we did the cactus, we did the crafting table um, and slime block, the first part slime block as we needed to do. Um, I got some uh, tips and tricks up um, on the comment section um, let me turn that one to that one yeah um, in the comment section they said well you can keep playing those big the, the blocks to be uh, short and they will make sure that you get diamonds which you can use further on to improve whatever you're wearing Currently, I was looking for a enchantment that protects me. Currently, we can only get fire protection, projectile protection, or normal protection. And thorns, of course, but... And blast protection, not to forget. I think we need a lot of protections in order to get that wither away. Or we need a potion that goes against the withering. To get into that spooky house. So, this guy is for potions. We have a swiftness potions, regeneration potions, healing potions that we can buy with iron ingots. So it, we can use healing potions to get us up again. But first let's exit and go to the uh, cannon this time. Um, let's just wait for it to load. I do love the loading way. I normally play Java edition of course. So yeah. This is in a different way. There's the cannon behind there. And I did not take my speed boost. So just let me be. <laughs> I will walk past the uh, gigantic redstone block to the TNT blocks over there. I wonder what we are gonna do there. I could not remember it correctly. I believe something about a uh, spleef or cannons. Like the cannons are behind it, but anything to do with TNT, that's something for sure. So let's walk to there and see what we can do. Climb up the big stack. I do love the way they did the stairs here. I really love that. Let me see. Well, the videos, um, some videos are already released. And of course, when I record this one, some are already released. And when I recorded this, um, I just got a message from the developer and the uh, uh, and log.zip itself on my comment area, and I really like that. Uh, oh, okay, and I really liked the, the direction of the um, of log.zip and uh, and such. So uh, thanks, uh, you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, welcome to TNT Cannons. Climb into any TNT cannon and press the button to launch. Land on a target to win rewards. Uh oh. Buy a reset torch to reset the platforms. Use the reset torch to get even more rewards. Head downstairs for more. Okay. Okay. What's this dude? Why, this is the giant TNT. Most of this is my handiwork. <laughs> jump in the cannons and launch yourself onto the platforms. They're perfectly safe, trust me. If you go downstairs, you can test your running and parkour skills with some TNT run. Oh boy. I heard that if you last a long time, you can get a key. But you didn't hear that from me. Enjoy. Okay, so we can earn reward with the cannon thingy thing that launches up onto targets. And we can go downstairs with the spleef part to try and uh, win other stuff. So let me first get up here. Because these are cannons, I believe. Oh, this is the terrible idea. Woo! What did I do? Oh, I got iron. So that's something to do with the cannons. So the way the cannons work, if I am correct, 
the screen changes a lot, so I press the button. I get launched. I will look down for now. So I can aim them. <sighs> Why did I just do this? <laughs> Anyways, um, those are cannons. Let's try this cannon. Let's, let's just give it a go. Another go. This is something I can do, I think. I think it's terribly hard, but I'm going to that red one over there. Weep! Boom! Okay, uh, now we have two iron ingots from that. Let's try this spleef one as well. I certainly want to try the TNT spleef or something, or whatever you want to call it. Do not fall for as long as possible. Collect power-ups to get rewards and effects. Do not go out of bounds. Oh well. I can at least try. power-ups get them later on I think it's now currently something I want to just try to get the most time of it and I have the feeling that this is the only way I can get every block I can because I'm alone so yeah normally when you play this this challenge with more people it becomes a lot harder Holy shit. Did not see that coming. Okay. Land, 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 land. Please. I need to run. Thank you. And I felt. <laughs> felt. Whew. How much did it do? I got three iron and two gold ingots. Good thing, but that was not long enough, it seems. So, I did almost every one of it. So, let's just try it one more time. And let's just try to get everything. Oh! I did not even hear the start signal. <laughs> Oh no. Please don't tell me this is another world. Hey, I see something green and shiny. It is an emerald. Woohoo! Another emerald. Yay! And now I'm gonna run and not stop with running. Ready, set. And this time I try to evade the power-ups, I think, because those power-ups are not power-ups. And I lost already. <laughs> last one, last time we tried and it worked a little bit better than this, this run. <laughs> oh my. Well, let's put everything over there and let's see how far I can get now. I hope seriously not that I have to clear the whole map in order to get the key. If so, I, uh, it would be a little bit painful. Smart idea. Do the sidelines first. And look out for the edges. We're in it again, but we did have a lot of sight, but we cannot reach him anymore. Ooh. 
Hopo. I have a feeling. And it is jump boost. This is a timed jump boost. We are gonna get that one. Oh, not this again. Mama! Let me down! Holy <laughs> macaroni. Uh, we lost again. We got an iron nugget and, so and one iron and one gold nugget, I think. Man, <laughs> this is hard. Let's try these cannons again. I wanna relax a bit. <laughs> Whatever you can call a relaxing, but it's at least something. I wanna get that yellow one this time. <laughs> Ah, yellow gives gold, but what does that red thing do? Those red ones. And does it help if I land on another one? <laughs> oh, let me sit for it. Uh, I wanna get it, I wanna get it, I wanna get it. Uh, yellow one there, yellow one there, red ones over there. So maybe I can try to reach it. Missed them all. Let's try this one. This one is closer to the yellows and the red one. If this is a cannon. Yes, it is. Okay. That's red. This is also red, but if you land on it after it already triggered, you can get can't go again. So let's try it again and try to reach the red one this time. It's underneath the yellow one, so that's that's basically the whole challenge, I think. Mm, missed. Let's just let's 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 just. just Keep trying. I want to know what the red one means. Yellow is gold, and the uh, other one is iron. Yes, that's red diamonds. Okay, red is diamonds. Okay, I know now. So basically, this is a very good way to earn some items and stuff. Well, that's what's a fail. So, let's try the spleef one again. <laughs> spleef. Oh, I call it spleef. But in originally it's TNT run. So you need to keep running, you know. Let's try a different pattern now. Let's just go zigzag. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more space here so I can jump around when needed to. Let's get the TNT and hopefully it's not something terrible. It's jump boost. Okay, jump boost. Wait a sec. I get a feeling that it will loop. Anything we get on those rewards and then we have to get a certain amount of power-ups until we get the key Maybe that's that's it So basically we have to run towards all rewards if we can find them Oh, 
Come on. See, it starts with jump boost. And now I can better really run this way. Now I get speed boost. Whoopa! I certainly hope that I'm not killing myself during this parkour bit. Oh, I did. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's intensive. My back is almost hurting due to the stress I get from it. <laughs> I'm running, I'm running. Let's see if I can get a power up. After a certain amount, they start to appear, so... There are now two on the map. That one. Two. Also boost. Oh, so the booster is wrong. Although I have to say, I dropped a lot during those boosts. Oh my god, I'm screaming like a girl now. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, kill me. Oh wait, I was already dead. Whew. We did it far, but the question is still, if you can hold out long enough, you get the key as stated on the wall here. The question is, long enough. How long is long enough? Those blocks you get, you take up, gives you those rewards that you get in yourself too. So it is the time. So I can better try to keep myself alive long enough that I win the key. Of course, that's gonna take a while. Well, hopefully I'm gonna win it one time. Oh, 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 oh. I enabled wrong button. Yep, that's a click button. <laughs> I have a macro on my keyboard that if I need it, I can keep my button pressed for like five seconds. So that I can, when I test my own plugins that I write for Spidget, you can find those on Spidget itself. I can check out if uh, a block break is triggered on a certain amount, but I forgot to remove the, uh, the macro. It's for the entry space. Ah, dang! I can see the hole when I walked in it. Um, well, my space plugin really uh, is something that I think is the best. It's the first plugin I ever developed, and it will certainly not be the last. Um, the Mindstar plugin is also very popular now, but um, well, the space plugin is old. It's made for 1.8 back then. For the script version of, uh, so you need the script and such. Then I remade it for Minecraft itself in Java code. But after a while, like currently, when the one the two is out, and one the two states basically that all materials change, the way Minecraft works change, the entities changed, basically everything that I coded it on changed. So it does work, but very unstable. So it crashes as soon as you have another plugin using the same function, for example. And that's something just I wanted to prevent.
Uh, why? I have to start jumping soon. Never mind. <gasps> oh. And we are gonna get the same thing like the crafting table thingy thing. It takes like forever to get something. Oh. It's, um, yeah. Well, about the MC. Oh. Well, it wins me some time. But it doesn't fix the whole. I need to go down part. No space left to jump. <laughs> well, I think it's just a matter of being lucky and get those fly things every time. I hope it is a randomizer or, or it will take a lot of time again. This is my last try before I end up the episode. So, hopefully next episode we can make it. But I certainly do not know if we're gonna make it so my goal here currently will be to get well basically stay on this board as long as i can possibly can without ruining my game i still think the way i currently do it so like looping around is the best thing i can do the board gets smaller over time but it's the only way to move fast enough, long enough, without causing trouble. It also gives me a more longer period that I can stay on the map. The only issue here is that I just got jump boost. And I got oh, the flying thing again. And the trouble of it is that I need to move fast. Faster and faster and faster and faster and longer and longer. And the trouble with that is that if I get this running boost, that I have no space left to jump to! No! Damn! <sighs> Anyways. It's something up for the next episode. I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Good luck.